Do you actually think that I murdered these people? For a Poe enthusiast, I think you have to, I th I think you have to go see this movie, if only out of curiosity and, and to see the ways that the filmmakers make use of Poe biography and make use of various Poe stories. I think some Poe enthusiasts will be kind of disappointed or, or they won't like the way that Poe is being portrayed in the film. No matter how this ends, I will kill him. The character of Edgar Allan Poe in this film is like uh, Edgar Allan Poe was in real life. He's depicted as having a drinking problem, which was certainly true of Poe, and of being pretty egotistical, very proud of, of his accomplishments as a writer, which was also true of Poe. He's portrayed as being jealous of other writers, particularly Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, which was definitely something that was a, a hang-up of Poe's. Another character in the film, um, Griswold, who was an enemy of Poe's, and he's an enemy of Poe's in the film. So a lot of that is really true. Poe probably wasn't as um, bold as the Poe character in the film. Poe's drinking was really different from the character Poe's drinking in the film. Um, in that when the real Edgar Allan Poe drank, uh, he got drunk very quickly, he really couldn't hold his alcohol, and he would pretty much get sick for days at a time as a result of a drinking binge. This guy is more of a hard-boiled detective kind of drinker. I'm afraid so. There have been actually over 200 films based on, in some way, based on Poe stories. And we keep waiting for a good one. Um, and it's sort of like uh, Chicago Cubs fans waiting to win the World Series. You, it, part of the mystique is that you, you, you kind of know it's never going to happen, but you get your hopes up every time.